Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, there's a lot going on in the energy. I know you feel it. I know you're dealing with it, <laughs> okay? So I'm getting more energy about um, the last reading that I posted somebody trying to cause problems and just like blaming you over something regardless of what it was or whether they made it up just out of the thin blue air to get some clout over you right or it could have been something that you legit made a mistake on but you just corrected it and move on but like somebody just wanted to like blow it up like it was like the worst thing ever whatever it is y'all whoever this person is you you know who it is place the energy wherever it resonates with whoever the person is friend family member the ex the karmic attached to the ex your co-worker your boss somebody you're dealing with today somebody had an ex to grind with you and they were like trying to blame you over something whoever that is you know who it is but then what had happened was you came out as the king of swords with the facts baby come on now you can't lie to lie about lie around a king of swords right this is a very smart intelligent person they have all the facts they have all the deeds they know exactly how to cut down every single one of your lies with the truth every single time with that sort of truth come on y'all this king of swords is very accurate in their detail so if they tried to say that you lied about such and such like you didn't do something well if you didn't do it you didn't do it and you're going to own up to it because your king of swords energy is also very honest and fair like i was saying on my last read who cares if you made a mistake people make mistakes that's what humans do okay nobody's perfect out here like nobody right but when you make the mistake own up to it address it be honest and fair with your king of swords energy if you did make a mistake that is your energy you're not the person who's going to be like no i didn't do this that's not you collective you have integrity right so the person who had things to hide was the person who was trying to either make something up out of the thin blue sky that you did not make a mistake on right or it was a, if you did make a mistake they just blew it up to where it was like more than what it was that was the liar not you collective i don't care what they said okay <laughs> your king of swords energy shut down this two of pentacles energy so i do feel in the energy that that blaming you kind of made you feel some type of way and it's evidenced here by the two of pentacles in reverse this is you feeling overwhelmed right so this is definitely that that energy of hey you're putting a lot on my plate you know what i'm saying whether you needed to address and course correct on something or not, it made you feel some type of way. I know it did because the two of pentacles in reverse is here, right? But you got to enter, you got a chance to release this with the tower in the reverse. So this is an energy of release from you. So people like throwing that energetically onto you and you're releasing it because it wasn't yours to take on, right? Their lies and everything, okay? You're not carrying other people's lies that they make up about you just to gain some clout or get some attention or, you know, just to make a, do like a come up off of you. You know what I'm saying? your tower allows you to kind of go, go with the flow of the energy and you get a chance to start fresh which makes the ace of pentacles in reverse for whoever this person was that threw this energy off on you whatever they did was a waste of time lying about you to you around you on you you know what i'm saying it did not work out the way that they the way that they want it because this person was carrying magician in the inverse energy y'all person using trickery and manipulation to get whatever they want i told y'all this person was lying to y'all in the first place didn't i tell y'all on my reading yesterday that y'all need to use y'all uh, intuition about this i'm telling you because this was a magician in the inverse manipulation and deception and trickery to get whatever they wanted i also get with this magician in the inverse energy the, uh, the energy that it carries this person is not confident so I get the fact that they wanted to blame you about something is it's because of something that they're not confident in doing. So it's like, if they're not confident in doing, let's say for instance, if this is like a job, this is what's coming to me in my energy, right? If this is a job, right? If this is somebody who came to you and be like, you made a mistake about such and such, right? Whatever that such and such was, was something that they could not do in the first place. This is what I'm getting in the energy, y'all. It's somebody who wasn't confident, so they needed to point out something about you that they weren't confident in. Y'all, literally, magician in the inverse energy. People with a lack mindset. People who are unfocused, unconfident themselves. This is legit the energy that I'm getting. That's why they did that to you. It was a projection. Told you. Y'all, I don't make up the energy, but I think you caught it. Because this page of swords energy is right under that two of pentacles in reverse. You spoke to them and you said something. Not only did you come out with all the deets and the facts, 
and cut down all this manipulation. And you're like, uh, uh, either I did not make a mistake or I did. And I corrected it. And here you go. You can have your, have your stress back. You know what I'm saying? You can have feeling overwhelmed back. Like this is what I'm getting. Your page of swords is very clever in what they say. So I think you said something very clever. You might've said something very lighthearted. Cause I do get like a very lighthearted energy from this because you know what time it was, right? You took on this particular situation and was like, nah, I'm not dealing with this foolishness. I'm good over here. I'm going to make sure my energy stays positive. I ha I, I know that you guys have been getting a lot of synchronicities um, about this because you were getting guidance in the situation. This energy started coming out yesterday. A lot of synchronicities guiding you to make the right decisions with people who carry this energy around you. So if you were getting a lot of synchronicities and seeing them, this is why. And this is like a culmination of what you were being guided to do, right? Your page of swords is also, you're very talkative. Um, you know, very witty. So you talk to this person you're like, no, I know what's up. I know the jig is up. I'm good. Right. If you made a mistake, you owned up to it and like, all right, no must, no fuss. You probably did it super fast. And they're just like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but your, your king of swords energy, your page of swords energy, you address the issue, whether it was made up or not, you shut it down either way. And that's why the five of swords in reverse is here. You walked away from this conflict. You might be feeling a little bit type, some type of way because you're like, whatever. It was not my fault. I didn't do this. Or I didn't do it to the level that you're saying them did it. You know what I'm saying, collective? This temperance and the inverse energy, some type of Im imbalance in the energy. And you've been feeling it. You have been feeling this temperance and the inverse energy. It's out there for the collective. It, it just is, right? People are trying to, you know, throw you off energetically, you know, uh, mentally, however they can throw you off, right? This temperance in the inverse is also some type of discord or doing things in indulgence and in, in excess, right? Which is whoever this particular magician in the inverse person was being very vain and arrogant, right? When you did this, I do get an energy that this person did not feel well. Like I do get like a, um, um, an energy, um, like they feel blocked. So they feel like they could not get over on you is what I'm hearing in the energy. Um, they, they don't know how you did it is what is coming to me. They don't understand how you got out of this trap, right? Literally, this is would have been making them feel unwell, sun in the inverse energy. This is what I'm feeling. It's kind of like a, like a drop in the pit of their stomach. They don't know how you got out of this trap. Literally, Queen of Cups in the reverse to the Empress in the reverse to the Eight of Swords energy. Y'all, I don't make up the energy. This is what I feel. This is literally what's coming out in the cards. This Queen of Cups in the reverse energy. This is somebody who overreacted to something. That's what I'm hearing. They overreacted, okay? This overreaction is a, literally a direct projection of what they projected to you. That Two of Pentacles, that wasn't your energy that projected it to you because of this Queen of Cups in the inverse. Y'all, I don't make it up. It's right here. You see it? This person overreacted. They're unrealistic just in general, how they view things, right? This is also someone who's not in touch with their emotions. So if they're not in touch with their emotions, they're certainly not in touch with yours because they're empress in the inverse as well. Non-caring, very neglectful. I do get a very neglectful something, like a neglectful person. It's, it's something about something that they can't do, wouldn't do, don't know how to do, don't understand how to do that unconfident energy from the magician in the inverse. So they tried to like say, blame you about something that you didn't do to like make themselves feel better. Y'all, who insecure people, I tell you, <laughs> this is what insecurity does to you. Literally eight of swords energy. Y'all, I don't make it. The energy is right here. Insecurities talks about this person being trapped in their mentality, right? them literally feeling trapped they tried to put you in the trap they fell in the trap that they meant for you come on collective this is what i'm getting in the energy <laughs> this is this is this is a sad sad person insecure people they have the hardest time but they don't understand that what they gotta do is to go within go within and to heal there's a lot of things that they gotta heal some um, some traumas some some insecurities you know we had the moon energy come out on the last reading but it's what they're trying to fight in you is really the fight within themselves, y'all. Somebody need to do some shadow work and it ain't you. All right, collective. But you come out, my dear, as a page of cups and y'all came out as a page of cups yesterday too. I told y'all y'all need to follow your intuition and you did. You absolutely did. This is somebody who's very intuitive, very psychic, paying attention to the shifts in their energy because the energy was shifting, boy. It was shifting today, okay? This page of cups is you with your ability to pick up on energy shifts because you're emotional and sensitive. You understand what's going on in the energy, right? 
also your page of cups is following your intuition and because you did our last player fire is the four of cups energy for this particular person who threw this um, at you they're upset because they missed out on the opportunity they fell in the trap that they met, uh, they meant for you what i'm hearing is they don't understand how you got out of the trap how do you didn't fall in the trap they don't get it well one because they're a queen of cups in the reverse they're not in touch with their emotions they're not in touch they don't understand how to do the shadow work they did not want to do the shadow work that's why this person always works out of their insecurities moon energy eight of swords energy so when you move with your intuition and not out of your insecurities like them come on collective you can get out of these traps that people set for you and that's why you're always going to be good that's what i'm talking about let's get an archaeo card to see what personality type we're dealing with here literally a shadow diver literally dealing with people's shadow side dealing with people and their insecurities and trying to project them onto you to make you overwhelm and blame you and trying to stop you and then I, you're like no nah, i'm good over here <laughs> the shadow diver spirals down the tunnels of your history discovering your deserted specters of discontent and trauma once located he brings them back to the surface where they can be resolved unearth these buried scars forsaken longings and damaged dreams can be attended to mended and laid to rest somewhere between childhood and adulthood there are stories that having tumbled down a forgotten rabbit hole remain buried squeezed small and still angry the shadow diver is a slinky hunter therapist with a nose for those bitter pills those traumas that cling limp-like to the walls of your psyche he is a miner and an archaeologist whose agenda is to retrieve and bring them to light it is hard enough to face threats like isolation sickness or the malice of others but it is harder to deal with an internal foreboding that cannot be articulated wow y'all we cannot overcome fears that remain hidden and in order to break free from our cold grip they must first be named and acknowledged if we do not we will never have free choice and we will forever be triggered by inappropriate actions by their rancor y'all <laughs> this is this person's story this person literally has some shadow work to do when it comes to why they keep projecting onto you you know what time it is because you're a page of cups you get it you understand right but you you learn the assignment you know you understood the assignment to do your own shadow work when you do your own shadow work you understand what your triggers are you know how not to react out of your triggers and if there is something that you need to course correct on you course correct and you move on this is somebody who can't or won't for that matter literally but because you are a shadow diver you know how to maneuver in these energies right or move around them I should say let's get a visions of duality and we'll wrap it up card 10 facing the shadow y'all talking about shadow all day long literally dealing with the shadow somebody's shadow side that keeps trying to project onto you but you my friend have understood the assignment shadows are often just the unknown within us in time they become familiar either as we build fake temples around them so we can't truly reach them or because we use them to keep ourselves from the light we are fools if we try to blind ourselves to the shadows and what we think about who we are we are cowards if we keep the shadow apart from us or if we deny its existence we need to walk into the shadow and listen to it to become whole advice do not be ashamed of your shadow it is a part of you that you need to accept before you can change it y'all and this is what i'm saying you know with that king of swords energy if it was something that you needed to course correct on you're not afraid of your shadow side you understand if there's something that comes up that's triggering to you if it did trigger you right there's something that you needed to do to correct it so if that was the opportunity you with that king of swords energy was honest and fair about yourself and what you need to change about yourself you change it and you move on which is why you get a chance to release it somebody else on the other side does not know what that means to do their shadow work you my friend you followed your intuition that's why you are a shadow diver that's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading if you do like this content don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and until the next time bye bye